Every step taken by the Fujian ship is a new record in the history of the Chinese Navy. January the 7th, Fujian ship completed the sixth test voyage, returned to Jiangnan shipyard in the Fujian ship. A large number of tire tracks appeared on the deck of the Fujian ship, which has probably completed the first catapult takeoff in the history of the Chinese Navy. Will it be delivered to the naval forces for service this year? On December the 28th, the Chinese Navy's third aircraft carrier, Fujian ship, set sail on a trial voyage, which is already the sixth time the new carrier has set sail, and with the trial voyage more than halfway through the trip, we are all looking forward to Fujian ship bringing us new surprises and realizing the first time for the domestically produced flat and large decked aircraft carriers. The first catapult takeoff of a domestically produced flat deck aircraft carrier may be the best New Year's gift. Fujian ship, sixth test area has been very close to a naval aircraft training base a few days ago. High resolution satellites even photographed the figure of a suspected carrier aircraft in front of the angled deck of the Fujian ship appeared in a green paint is in flight. The ship's carrier aircraft is in flight in front of the angled deck of the Fujian ship. There are only two possibilities. One is the carrier aircraft landing and ray flying, and the other is the number three, catapult ejection test of the real aircraft. At this time it is not yet certain which test. However, when the Fujian ship carrier back to port, the outside world had the opportunity to take a clear picture of the carrier's deck. At this time, the deck between the four, Blocking ropes appeared a large number of tire tracks. There is enough evidence to show that the Fujian ship is very likely to have completed the blocking of the ship landing and the first carrier catapult test in the history of the Chinese Navy. At present, the Chinese Navy has five types of fighters with catapult takeoff capability, respectively J-15 shipborne fighters, J-35 shipborne fighters, J-15D shipborne electronic warfare aircraft, JT-10 shipborne trainer, Airborne Police 600 Shipborne AWACS Catapult aircraft carrier required by the type of shipborne aircraft type has been fully equipped. Previously, the Chinese Navy has never been exposed J-15T shipborne fighters in service. During the double carrier South China Sea exercises, a one-time exposure of at least 15 J-15T shipborne fighters to be Fujian ship service, the three carriers will be equipped with J-15T. The early J-15 shipborne aircraft will be handed over to the shipborne aircraft training bases to take on the training of new pilots. The early J-15 carrier aircraft will be handed over to the carrier aircraft training base, which will take up the task of training new pilots. Satellite photos show at least four airborne police 600 carrier-based AWACS aircraft in the same frame at a carrier-based training base, which seems to have formed combat capability before the new carriers were commissioned. In order for the aircraft carrier to quickly form combat capability after service, the Chinese Navy is constantly innovating the means of testing and utilizing new combat forces, just waiting for the aircraft carrier to be commissioned. Many netizens are curious as to why there is no sign of the carrier aircraft. Only one J-15T and one J-35 carrier aircraft model appear around the ship island. According to the test process of naval aircraft carrier, the naval aircraft take off from the shore-based airport complete the blocking landing and catapult test on the carrier, and then return to the shore-based carrier training base. Of course, there will be no sight of the carrier aircraft. If our analysis is reasonable, perhaps the official release of the Chinese Navy's first high-definition footage of the catapult test. The catapult test is a milestone in the construction of catapult aircraft carriers, signaling that the carrier's test flights will enter the end of the Fujian ship. How much longer the Navy combat sequence, August, the 10th, 2011, the Chinese Navy's first aircraft carrier, Liaoning, completed the first five-day test voyage, August, the 27th, 2012, completed the last, that is, the 10th test voyage, in the year on September the 25th, the naming ceremony was held, officially joined the naval combat sequence, from the maiden voyage to the commissioning of a period of 13 months, China's second aircraft carrier, Shandong, completed its maiden voyage on May 13, 2018, during which it completed nine test voyages and joined the naval combat sequence on December 17, 2019, a period of 19 months. Because, Shandong ship, is China's first time to build aircraft carriers, such as large-scale maritime platforms, need to complete a large number of trial voyage and test demonstration process, so the aircraft carrier trial cycle is relatively long.
When it comes to the Fujian ship, we obviously feel that the ship's trial voyage work has been accelerated steeply, which indicates that China is already comfortable with the construction and trial voyage work of large aircraft carriers. The Fujian ship was launched on June 17, 2022 and made its maiden voyage on May 1, 2023, completing six trials in less than seven months. Next, Fujian ship will carry out ship and aircraft integration depth test and combat performance test, complete the full deck saturation takeoff capacity test, so that Fujian ship, delivered to the naval forces in service, quickly be able to form the initial combat capability, and all weather combat capability, can be put into the combat readiness duty mission. It can be put into combat readiness duty for the current stage of the Chinese Navy. Perhaps there is no more than the service of an aircraft carrier can be more rapid means of upgrading the overall combat capability of the Navy. Therefore, it is very likely that the commissioning ceremony will be held between April and October this year. Officially become a member of the Chinese Navy combat sequence, when the Chinese Navy's three aircraft carrier lineup officially formed, the Navy will be a strong strength and combat capability to become the premier naval force in the Western Pacific region. We will wait and see.